Welcome back my gardening friends. Well, you're going to be sick of these uh, short videos. Uh, unfortunately, the tablet's playing up and the uh, cable from the microphone touched the screen and switched it off again. Mind you, it was my fat fingers earlier on. So this is the chilli I'm going to be taking to Malvern. That's uh, around the 13 inches and the heavy chilli. I don't know whether it's heavy or not. It's a job to say, but uh, I'll be entering that in and then to summarize the uh, giant vegetables in the different mediums so this was in nettle and nettle has probably done its job and it's throughout all the, um, the the legs comfrey well it's uh, it's just got shot it straight down and this is the carrot in the nettle another parsnip in the comfrey and then this was in the mixture of all my um, plant foods so it's done something different again not exactly massive uh, until we weigh it but it's nice to uh, get the uh, polytunnel back I can actually see the uh, gigantamo now I'm gonna pick that one at the back it does seem a bit soft and ripe, so we'll have that. There is one more beetroot in the polytunnel there, but I may leave that one in there to go to seed as well. It's not hurting nothing at the moment. I'll be bringing the Christmas potatoes into here once I've got the polystyrene back up again. But uh, yeah, everything else will be picked uh, on the day of the chilli on the Friday morning and the heavy chilli so long and heavy chilies will be picked Friday morning and we'll make our way down to Malvern during the morning uh, into the afternoon and uh, we'll stage it and then I should be there on Sunday for most of the day to collect the um, the ones that I've done and I should be saving the seeds out of that long chilli to sow again next year so the parsnip outside it's got a bit wet damp and a little bit uh, rotten and uh, I've covered these up the, the, the carrot which uh, isn't uh, bad at all so we'll be uh, seeing how that one does and then we've got the uh, giant beetroot which isn't a giant as such compared to everybody else's but that's from our first attempt um, I think uh, I've done quite well so the next video will be uh, at home after I've washed the ones that I'm going to be taking uh, so this is for the uh, Malvern 2018 veg uh, giant vegetable show my reveals and the ones that I'm going to be taking and this is how I've done them it does look like doing them outside we can't control the the amount of water they get it hasn't affected the beetroot so we, we can perhaps think about that next year but I've learned quite a lot from this experience and other people's I grow my vegetables using the uh, all my home made compost mixes so the manure I bring in the spent compost that I find on the side of the road I bring in it's mixed with the leaf mold and other ingredients so this is what's been coming out of the tubs it's broken down nicely now and all I've added is my liquid plant foods which are the manure bin runoff compost bin runoff nettle tea comfrey tea comfrey pipe concentrate the wormery banana liquid concentrate my uh, leaf mold this is uh, coming up for uh, 10 months old and this is coming up for 22 months old that'll be revealed soon and going through my new trommel some added ingredients are the coffee grounds I've got some soot and uh, log ashes tea leaves, blended eggshells, log shavings, 
some grit for the worms and oats. The only thing I'm going to be trying differently next year with the giant vegetables is using mycorrhizal or funky on the roots to try and encourage them. But other than that, I might just uh, jiggle my uh, liquid plant food mix about. My new pallet bin <coughs> is coming together nicely. So that's spent compost and uh, I'll get some more manure now and the manure can go straight into here. So I'll have some nice fresh ingredients ready for perhaps next year for all my growing on the cheap. This is the pile of material from out of the strawberry boxes that didn't do very well and we ended up with uh, vine weevil and uh, on a good inspection I haven't found any of the uh, vine weevils so hopefully I'll be able to reuse that in the uh, strawberry planter with a few more added ingredients I've got me polytunnel back certainly probably space them out a little bit more next time but uh, I'm pleased with what I've got I'm going to take these home now and wash them and I'm going to say ta for now just in case it switches itself off again which it will do so happy gardening to you all hope you enjoyed these uh, few little snippets I've just elaborated a little bit on this one to show you how I've uh, come to grow these. But uh, this is all my homemade stuff, not the pebbles. But it certainly made it easy to get the vegetables out. And I've got a few ideas for next year. Till next time, my friends. Turn off and air.